This will serve as the base color. It will enhance the darker values to come. Lay in the color and then pull it and guide it around where you'd like it to go. You see how I'm touching and lifting my brush and allowing the color to spread? Going darker in value around the edge of the iris helps to create contour and the impression of curve. This part of the pupil that's in the reflection shape is lighter in value. So I'll work around that. I think I'll use a touching motion. That way the previous layers of color will stay in place. I always love the effect when you reinforce the darkest parts. Everything seems to pop. Here's the inner edge of the iris, which will eventually be hidden in shadow. I'm returning after a break and seeing with fresh eyes refinements that can be made. And I encourage you to make decisions based on what you see in your painting. I'm looking at this dark corner and I think the transition from dark to light is pretty abrupt. If I lay in some mid-tone values here, not too dark or too light, that will help to create that smoother transition. I'm happy with these colors, and I think it's time for the faint lines and textures that I see in this eye. And I'll begin with the very dark shapes that I see down here. I'm using the very tip of the brush. You could use your imagination and just touch in some color. You don't have to perfectly follow the photo. And now for the fur. So I'm using the very tip of the brush and I think right away I'll space these hairs apart so that we can see lighter values. I think we should move into the very pale hairs around the eye. Starting in an area that I can clearly see what to do. And I'm paying attention to the curve of the hairs, working on this area. Do you need to reinforce this? Creating little tiny hairs there. They kind of taper out over there. Do you need to create some darker hairs here? Mm -hmm. 
We'll make further revisions with thin glazes. I'll take the glaze right over this shape. It's slightly smoothing the textures and taking that area a little darker. And I'll just go over the area and smooth the textures. So I'm just going in to make final refinements. And that's it. I'll call this painting finished. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Thanks for watching.